policy uh, or confusion? <laughs> Actually, there's no confusion. It's only perceived to be confusion. Okay. <clears throat> the purchasing policy hasn't changed. The board debated this issue over a year ago. And because we had so many, and we received so many complaints from various people, particularly the Taxpayers Association, uh, so-called, that we were giving too many waivers, that we were we were not following the policy, that we didn't have enough bidders, and so on and so forth. And and that's true. I mean, we were giving a lot of waivers, uh, and we still have problems trying to get people to come in and bid. In fact, we now insist that we have at least ten companies that we send bid documents to every time we send a bid out. The policy hasn't changed, but the board debated uh, and had us draft up a policy on, which you haven't changed yet, uh, was, and you, you know, said, you went from 25000 to 50000 during during the debate, but you didn't make a decision on that. You just said, draft up some policies and show us. Well, we did. We never got to it. Uh, it, nothing was ever signed to change. Nothing has still been signed, not signed to change. Um, we gave you the policy draft uh, when they went back and recouped and, and went back over all the processes because we were having some problems with uh, purchasing, and uh, I took some strong action at one point. Uh, I actually disciplined some employees for inappropriate activities with regards to uh, purchasing. Um, the policy is there for you to read. You haven't changed it yet. Uh, we're not suggesting that you change it. We just gave you what you were talking about in general terms. Okay. Um, I, to me, it doesn't make any difference whether you make the policy a dollar or a million dollars. It doesn't make any difference. We're going to do what you tell us to do. And right now, we have an established policy, and that policy is still in effect. We haven't changed it, nor have you changed it. We can't change it at all. It takes the board to change it. One of the things that we would like to do is to continue to evolve that policy more strictly on the management side of the policy. As you know, there's two portions of the policy. One is the policy itself, which tells you what you've got to do and how you've got to do it. And the other one is the management portion of the policy, which gives you instructions on how to fill out the forms or when things must be, be brought forward and so forth. They're not the rule. They're simply an explanation of what you need to do. And we want to continue to evolve that as time goes along because we need to do that. Right now, the policy is $20,000. Uh, anything over fifteen has to be bid. Uh, we, we, we request uh, written uh, documentation on all the bids. We request uh, information that's sent to uh, my office so the bids can be started. Departments write bids. They send them up. We review them. We put in the the what they call a, the the the, the, uh, the framework of the bid, so that uh, all of the bids are the same as far as what the legal requirements are, and then we farm those out and, and and take in bid documents. If it comes in and there are a number of bidders, at least three bidders, and it comes in, uh, the statute allows me to and the regulation allows me to award the bid provided that the bid is under $50,000. If it's over 50, if it's $50,000 or more, it has to come to the board for approval. That's where the $50,000 comes from. So you have to approve all bids over 50,000. I have the responsibility to approve all justified bids as long as there are either three required bidders or more uh, up to $50,000. That's the way the ordinance works. That's the way it's always worked. That's the way it's going to continue to work until you folks actually physically change it. And there's some confusion about what we actually do here as opposed to what, you know, people think we do. And we do exactly what the policy says. Now, we have had some problems with uh, incorrect purchase orders, incorrect uh, uh, requests for expenditure of funds. When those come in, we don't approve them. They go back to the department with instructions to fix them. Read the policy and fix it in accordance with the, with the policy enacted by the Board of Selectmen or I won't sign it. And you can't purchase those supplies or materials or whatever it happens to be without my signature if it's over $1,000. I won't sign it. I refuse to sign it, and I keep continually send things back if they are wrong. Once in a while, we have a uh, purchase order received. And I'm using purchase order as a generic explanation. Uh, a request to expend funds, and it's not even signed. 
Those go back to the departments. Review it, find out what's wrong with it, send it back properly. We do that on a regular basis. Uh, if there's a problem, and there was a problem recently, and I'm, because it was a, a problem that involves some discipline, I can't discuss it in public, uh, but we, we sent a disciplinary letter out to an employee uh, because the policy wasn't followed. And we'll continue to do that if the policy is not followed and we have multiple cha multiple problems with a particular department or an employee. That's the way we administer the policy. That's what's there. Nothing has changed. So we everything over $15,000 goes to bid? Goes to bid. Unless directed otherwise by the board. There are some exceptions. Uh, for instance, all public works equipment that exceeds $35,000 in cost, of course we already bid it, by statute has to be bid. That's just the law in this state. And there is a lot of that effect in the statutes. But since we have a lower threshold, we bid it automatically anyhow. There are also the requirements that, that uh, there are certain things under federal and state grants that have to be worked in a different fashion than a straight bid. And we follow that in accordance with the state law. So, but virtually everything is bid. So is this amount, is this, it used to be 5,000, then it went to 15,000? That's what the board changed, yes. So when I first got here, it was $5,000. And uh, we weren't being very successful at that level because we weren't getting any bidders. People just wouldn't fill the paperwork out. And the board did eventually, after talking about this for some period of time, did increase it to fifteen thousand dollars, and that's where it was. stands. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So it was a mistake in 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 reading, in reading and understanding. Reading and, and understanding. Th this was this was a draft of what you had talked about, so that you could continue to talk, and that's all it is. Nothing has changed. Good. Nor is anything going to, unless you change it. 